After they confirmed their shock separation yesterday, it's now being reported that Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford actually ended their marriage a year ago, according to Daily Mail. A friend of the couple told the publication that they separated one year ago but were determined to keep it a secret. The pair confirmed the sad news through a representative who said, Ruth Langsford and Eamon Holmes have confirmed their marriage is over and they are in the process of divorcing. Eamon and Ruth, both 64, have been married for 14 years after getting married in 2010 and spending 13 years together prior. They are parents to their 22-year-old son Jack while Eamon, 64, is also dad to sons Declan and Niall, and daughter Rebecca from his previous marriage. The GB News presenter broke his silence following the shock announcement, leaving fans baffled with his recent post on social media. Celebrating the football result, Eamon penned, My God, what a cup final, what a result. Hashtag MUFC European Football next season 2. The magic of the cup. Congratulations to the whole squad the TV stars post left fans confused and many took to the comment section. One wrote, Sorry to read about you and Ruth, lovely couple. Another stated, Poor Ruth, before questioning what happened. A third said, Quite apart from the footy, I am really sad to hear about you and Ruth. Someone else replied, What has that got to do with the footy? So sad to hear about your news. You were always my dream team you had such great chemistry. I wish you both the very best going forward, a fifth commented. Steering away from the split rumors, one fan pleaded. Read the room people. This post bears no weight on his personal life, it's about sport. Let's keep it on topic. The much-loved duo initially met in 1995 while Eamon was the face of GMTV and a mutual friend introduced the pair to one another. The two went on to become hosts on This Morning in 2006 before leaving the show for good in 2021. Ruth continued to be an anchor on Loose Women while Eamon took up hosting on GB News in 2021.